What's up guys, um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you the fastest and easiest way to add particle systems into your game. As you can see here, this took me not even 3 minutes. Okay, so the first thing you guys are going to want to do is download this program. I'll supply a link in the description. It's small so it should take no time at all to download. This program is the greatest thing ever. Just trust me, don't even try and program your own particle systems, just let this thing do everything. Okay, so we're going to... I'm going to show you how, how it works and how to actually add it into your game, it's fairly easy. So, what we're going to do is we're going to change the player... What the, we're going to change the three effects that I've put in already uh, with three new effects, just so you guys can see how easy it is. So we'll start with the player. So it's currently running out of the step, so I'll delete that. And now we just come into this program and then you hit Control R until you find an effect you like. Da -da -da. This might be the funnest part about the whole program. And you can get some crazy variations in this. Okay, let's let's maybe use this one. Nah, it's not. Ooh, let's use this one. Okay, so we're gonna use this ring thing for the player. We'll put the size back on. Um, so you got a whole bunch of options here, so you can really tweak it, like in the program itself, and then you can test it right there in front of you before you even implemented into your game which is really nice so yeah I guess that's fine let's use this let's just change that to maybe a yellow let's put scale off okay anyway once you guys are happy with your effect then you just go export entire system GML and you name it something and then you go into your next one so now we're going to look for one for the bullet the bullet trail uh, let's see let's put scale on you yeah. okay this does take up a lot of resources so if you guys are making um, games for like Android then I wouldn't really suggest using this but if you're making games for PC or for Steam then it should be all good just so many choices okay let's see how this one will look without a size Okay, I think actually let's just use that. So we'll make it pink. So this is gonna be our bullet our bullet trail. Put the size. Let's put the scale. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, so we say export, entire system, and then you name this something else. Okay, let's just do those two for now actually. Okay, so the only code you're going to need to get this working is the particle name or system name goes part system create and then ba 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 part party goes create S name, comma x, comma y, particle one, and then how many, how many do you want to spawn at a time? Or if it's an explosion, you would maybe want to add about fifty. But seeming this is in a step event and it's going to be creating at every frame, I think five will be sufficient. Um, okay, so now once you've got your stuff saved 
you just want to go to your desktop and you want to take your file and you want to drag it into a text editor so I've just got sublime text so you drag that in and this is what you'll see okay so you just want to take you don't want, you don't want to care about that because we've already defined it we don't want to care about this we only want to copy the center the middle piece so we're going to copy that and we're going to paste it into the middle okay and we're going to take all of this out and we're going to go to our bullet we're going to replace all of that and we're going to get our something else code which has the bullet particles and we're going to copy that centerpiece into the centerpiece and that should be it so let's see Yeah, voila, there we go. Um, the move, my movement code was in the step event as well, which I deleted because I'm um, not very bright right now. But as you can see, guys, it's working. But you can see with the bullet trail, and it looks pretty damn cool. So yeah, and you can see my player is does have that effect. It's, I just can't move my player now. But yeah, I hope you guys are going to use this in your game.